All right, <clears throat> strangely difficult video to make. Um, wasn't really planning on sharing this. Don't like to talk a lot about it. It's really embarrassing, but I think the time has come to announce that I quit. And uh, I think that'll come to a, as a surprise to a lot of you. But I want to explain why, and I think that um, it might be time for a lot of you to quit. So let's talk a little bit about that. Back in November, on the 11th, specifically, 2017, so a little over six months ago, um, I took a drag off of uh, my very last cigarette, and I haven't had another drag since. I took it, threw it in the garbage can, and that was it. Almost 20 years, uh, I was a smoker. And I was a light smoker, it made it easy to justify. A pack every couple weeks, maybe every three. And so I convinced myself it wasn't a big deal. I mean, obviously I've seen the data. You have to be a complete idiot to know that, uh, to not know that smoking is harmful for you. But if we're going with those standards, then in a sense, you'd have to be a complete idiot to not know that banking the traditional way is also bad for you. After seeing this channel and being exposed to what we talk about on this channel, it is undeniable, the math, is impossible to disagree with. So why is it then that more people aren't effective with what we teach? It's because of mindset. The same reason that every single smoker on the planet smokes cigarettes. It's not because we're fools and don't know it's, it's bad for our health. It's that we don't care enough to do something about it. I think it boils down to self-love. I've had this conversation with my significant other, my rock, my everything. Kelly Ann Zielinski, a uh, widely respected self-leadership coach nationally in the education system, a former second grade teacher. And prior to having her in my life, just a, a few short years ago, um, I didn't know what it meant to, to love myself enough. I would travel the country, I would exhaust myself, I'd be waking up at 3 a.m. for red eyes, I'd be landing at six, seven, eight in the morning, just in time to get to the hotel, take a quick rinse and get on stage. And I would repeat this process two or three times a week in two or three different cities. And it was, it was wearing me out. I was miserable, but I felt obligated. And I was doing it for a variety of reasons that I think people choose to do things. Maybe you feel obligated to a spouse. Maybe you feel obligated to an employer. Maybe you feel obligated to your kids. Maybe you just don't understand why you're doing things. But long story short, Unless you get your mindset right, nothing else matters. We can go on and on and on in video after video demonstrating the mathematics about how and why to bank a better way. Just like I could go on and on about statistics regarding the dangers of smoking and uh, until somebody's committed to consistency and to change, um, it really won't make any difference. So. Another area of my life that I've started to really focus on enhancing is just my general health. I've been blessed to have a, a great constitution overall. Uh, always had a high metabolism. I, I frankly could have eaten anything my entire life through my 20s without packing on an extra pound. And that of course changes in your 30s and now I'm always fighting this gut. But it's pretty easy to fight when you choose to change your state of mind and purchase better food. So here I am getting ready to, to drink, um, you know, one of my favorite uh, snacks throughout the day. Um, I'll usually have one or two of these, uh, consists of a couple organic bananas, uh, a bunch of organic blueberries, um, organic spinach, and um, some almond milk. So this is a healthy alternative to some of the stuff I would have eaten previously, but having you know, expanded in my relationship, Kellyanne is somebody that refuses to eat anything that isn't organic. And just two years ago, I would have been the guy that was adamantly disagreeing with spending the extra money in order to preserve cash flow. And I would have sacrificed in my ingredients, in, in my nutrients, and, and I just don't do that anymore either. So yes, there are times where I'm out on the road, just got back from North Carolina, had a great time. I was looking at real estate out there and I was also visiting a, a close family uh, member, a cousin of mine, first cousin. And I mean, it was tough to eat healthy. And of course that's an excuse too. It was more difficult, I should say, than it is here. Colorado is very health conscious, so it makes it incredibly easy to get healthy food. But 
you know, again, that was a total excuse, but I felt horrible. My body has totally adjusted to these healthier foods. And so, it, you know, it's easy to fall off. It's easy to make mistakes and to slip up. And that's true with your finances as well. But it's also just as easy once you have that mindset to go back to doing it a better way. And so the, the one tip I want you to take away from this video is you've got to love yourself enough to care. I didn't love myself enough to care. I didn't love myself enough to quit. I didn't love myself enough to eat better. So once you make that decision and it's firm, I mean, you, you, you have a come to Jesus moment and you look yourself in the mirror and say enough's enough. That's when what we teach will work. Until then, that should be your primary priority is consuming enough information to help make those mental adjustments. And maybe it isn't the math you should be looking at. Maybe it's content from people like Kellyanne with Self Leadership Global or content from people like Jim Rohn who talk frequently about the intake of good quality information, good quality nutrients that will allow your body to expel good quality content and good quality energy. You'll feel better. Listen, I had plenty of energy before, but it was kind of sluggish energy. It, you know, it, it, it never felt like healthy energy. Now I have the same energy. You know, I focus on drinking a lot of water every day, okay? I, I get the best price for this. I spend $1.25 for five gallons of filtered, nutritious water, okay? Most places, tap water just isn't going to, to cut the mustard. You've gotta start thinking about absolutely everything to your core. I've changed to totally organic sunblock. I've changed to totally organic deodorant, totally orga organic toothpaste, I've gotten rid of fluoride, gotten rid of everything, all these extras that the United States seems to like to put into everything, okay? And, and so uh, that's changed my entire, all of my results. Uh, you know, I gained something like eight pounds in, in uh, North Carolina in one week by just eating crappy, okay? I come home and I lose it one week later. So it will have an impact on you. You've got to shift. Now, if you're a, a, you know, a, a family where you've got several children or even just one or more child, you know, eating organic foods can be tough to justify. You're going to have to make the mental shift to get your finances right before sometimes you can afford some of these more expensive ingredients because you do pay more. And I am so happy to pay twice as much throughout the year for my food than to eat like shit. So I would recommend that we worry about getting your money right so that we can worry about getting your health right so that you can enjoy that wealth for your entire life. That's the idea here, folks. I just wanna say thanks again for everybody joining us here on the channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Share with me what you're doing to love yourself. What is the one thing you're doing right now that displays the most amount of self-love possible? Keep it clean or it gets deleted, my friends. This channel is all about productive comments. If you're not gonna be productive about your comment, most likely your comment won't make the public forum. But anybody that comments is now eligible for a $25 Amazon gift card. We're giving one away every single week, all the way until October. Additionally, we're giving away one two hour Skype coaching session with yours truly. I'm gonna actually carve out time on one of my weekends to sit on video with you and figure out exactly where you wanna end up so I can help get you there much more quickly. Finally, we do have one grand prize winner that will be selected in October that we will be flying to Denver to hang out and I cannot wait to meet you. This is gonna be an, ex an extraordinary experience for, for both of us. Um, and so until we see you guys on the next video, say hi. There's Kellyanne, everybody. So until we see you guys on the next video, make sure you throw a comment below, smash that like button. You've gotta be a subscriber to be eligible for the contest. And so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Check out all the videos to see exactly how the math plays a role in all of this. We look forward to playing a role in your success. Until the next video, make it a great day today and take care, friend.